Good day, everyone, and welcome to our Digital Dreams ICT Academy YouTube channel. Today, we are discussing about how you could become a web developer in the year 2023. But before we continue, we would like you to do just one little thing. Please subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscription button below this video so that you get notification anytime we upload our awesome video. This year, I know most of you have started with the ideals and the promise that you are going to become better and you are going to learn a new skill or change even your career. And I'll tell you that one thing here is that web development is a very solid skill and a career path that you should consider. And why am I saying this? One is that every tech skill is in the high demand right now. Since COVID-19, we all noticed that most businesses and processes have gone online. And the implication of this is that most things we do today, we have to interact with online platforms that will enable us achieve whatever we do, whether it is having meetings or education or even making payments. These online platforms or web platforms are what the web developers create, what they maintain, and what they make available to the public, right? So the real job of a web developer is in creating web applications and making it usable and functional to the public. So that makes the job of web developers to be in high demand right now. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, web development job will have be, be on increase by up to 23% year to year from 2021 to 2030. And right now, we are also seeing a high shortage of available web developers. To the extent that even the, the, uh, the U.S. level of statistics is saying that by 2030, there will be 85.2 million shortage of web developers. So this is a good time to become a web developer. And web development jobs are also quite lucrative and high paying. And it's something you know that will also be in demand, not only now, but also in the future. So you will ask me what to do web developers do? What's their main job? What's their role in the society? What do they achieve? And I'll tell you, the job of web developers, like I said earlier, is in developing web applications that can be useful to the society, right? And they develop it using different technologies, right? And these technologies has matured. It all started with HTML. New technologies like CSS have come up. We have the different back-end applications from the C Sharp to Python to Node to PHP. These are different server-side applications that uh, web developers also work on. They also work on making also this site, these web applications to be not only um, useful and functional, but also be interactive. So you also see some other client-side languages like JavaScript that helps bring interactivity to web applications. And these whole things are the skills a web developer needs to learn. Someone who is thinking about getting into a career in web development might think that web development is hard, but I can assure you that it is the easiest learning curve in the whole um, software engineering skills that are available. So it's the one that you get your hand faster in and you can develop faster if you actually venture into it. And also in web development, there are different specializations you can decide to become a front-end web developer. What it means is that you will be in charge of creating the website designs and the user interfaces and every other interaction that the users of the web application will meet when they actually come to the website. And that is a solid specialization. Or you can also become a back-end web developer and you'll be in charge of the different functionalities optimization, uh, data storage, and even the 
problem solving, the business logic of the web application you are developing. The best also is that you can also become what? A full stack web developer. That means you have both the scale of the front end web developer and the scale of the back end developer. And that is also, that is a, a bigger and a higher level of um, skill when it comes to web development. As a web developer, you also have to learn different technical skills. And these are very, very important. The very first part you have to learn is design. You need to be able to understand shapes, colors, fonts, uh, different typography, and how to make it useful for the user to see an awesome interface. Apart from that, you need to be able to understand how to also make the website or the web application to have an awesome experience for the user. So once you understand design, that is on one, and that design will actually really help you if you really want to be a front-end web developer. Another aspect of that is what you need to understand coding. When we mean coding that, you need to understand the different languages that makes the web application possible. You need to be able to understand HTML, CSS, and other server-side applications. So that with the combination of these skills, and you'll be able to what, get to where your user interface or your website or your web application will be so awesome. You also need to learn about the client-side languages like JavaScript, which is used to bring in interactivity to the website. The next skill you might, that is necessary for a web developer and that is technical is site engine optimization. You should be able to understand how you can be able to optimize the site for web searches, how to increase the load, the, make it load faster, and also every other thing that will actually make the delivery of the site to be awesome and also rank for higher in search engine. Another aspect you might require to know is web hosting, right? How do you actually host this site on a cloud platform and optimize it for speed, optimize it for smarter delivery, and optimize it for being able to stay long without breaking down? That is, I use your site have a high uptime so that skill will be necessary. Now, these are the technical skills that are required, but you also require some other soft skills. One of the soft skills you require is a good communication skill. A good communication skill is important because one, you'll be working in teams, so you will not be able to communicate well with your team members. Also, you'll be working with your clients, so you need to be able to have a good communication with your clients. The next skill is a good customer service skill. You need to be able to make your customers feel happy about your job, talk to them, communicate to them, and listen to their concerns and also deliver. Having a good customer service skill makes you to be endeared by your client. The next skill that is quite necessary as a web developer is a design sense. You need to have a sense of design. You need to be able to look at things and say, fine, this looks well, or this doesn't look well. You might call it design sense. You can make have it an excellent spirit where you are driving to make things much, much better than people have expected. That is very, very critical and necessary because you can be able to pinpoint different errors, different um, bad user experiences, and improve them without people prompting you to do that. The next soft skill that you might require as a web developer is problem solving skills. Programming requires an ability to solve different problems as they come up. And you actually require this skill if you have to become quite a good web developer. Also, another very important part will be organization and diligence skill. Your ability to meet timelines and deadlines will be quite important because in the job, there will be so much timelines and deadlines, and you need to have that ability to work based on timelines and be able to deliver when the deadline reaches. As a web developer, you will encounter different web technologies and languages. And the very first technology you are going to encounter will be HTML. HTML is a markup language that powers the web. It is the foundation of the internet. 
and you understanding how to write the HTML markup languages and also manipulate the different tags and elements will be one of the most important parts you need to learn in your web development uh, progress. Another important uh, technology you will need will be the cascading style shirt, CSS. CSS actually brings design to the web. It is what is used to create beautiful and awesome web pages. Every beautiful site you know was made uh, possible through the power of CSS. The next one you actually need will be client-side languages like JavaScript. JavaScript is the most popular client-side um, language for the web. And it is what brings interactivity to the web sites. And it is what is being used to create the different awesome animations and element changes that you see in the internet. Another very important technology will be database and structured query language. Database is the warehouse of the data that you will actually encounter in the internet. And the structured query language is actually the language for querying this database to bring out both results, store information, and also edit and delete information in the database. Another very important uh, technology you will need is the common gateway interface, the CGI applications. The CGI applications are what is being used to interact between the front end and the back end. So you see the CGI applications like PHP or even Core, uh, which is PHP is an interpreted language which acts as a CGI. Python can also be used uh, as part of the CGI, even C Sharp. So these are languages that help bridge the gap, take the data from the front end of the website, from the HTML pages, and actually do the, the database calls, and also retrieve information from the database, and also display in the front end of the website. Another part technology you actually meet will be version control systems. Because softwares engineering require you creating different versions of the same application. You actually need a version control system that can be able to help you merge different versions and also manage these different versions at any point in time. So that is also quite important. You also need server technologies, which are how do you really optimize the server? How do you actually uh, make the server work better or create rules for the server, or even do different server functions. So you actually need to know about the different server technologies that are available. These are the core things you need to know. And understanding this core thing doesn't really mean that all the things you need has been mentioned, but at least this is the foundational level which can take you up and to become a very good web developer. So now that you have decided to become a web developer, how do you go about it? That's a very important question. One of the very first thing is that after you have made this choice, the very first thing you need to do is to actually get your hand a little bit on coding, right? First of all, take online courses, or you could come to Digital Dreams ICT Academy, and we actually take you from the process of the beginner to an advanced web developer. And we will actually give you all these things um, within a, a period of three months you become quite good with web development. And that's a fact. We expect you to come to Digital Dreams ICT Academy and actually get all this knowledge and become the man of your dream or woman of your dream, which is so important. Thank you.